So today I've been doing some teaching using the uh, Lifepack 15 unit on the iSimulate Reality. Um, and I just thought I'd capture some video at the same time and then show you how I was using it. So in this case, we had a 54-year-old male, um, heart rate of 40, SATs of 92, blood pressure 93 over 59. So the team that I was working with, they repeated the blood pressure to just establish that that was right. They could see on the uh, 3D DCG that the rate looked as though it could be a third degree block. Um, and so they also thought, okay, well, let's have a look at it on a 12 lead. So you see that the 12 lead comes up here and it's definitely showing a third degree conduction block. So they started to manage the patient and then the patient actually went off. So uh, they lost their airway and the team then recognized that and started some basic airway management. And somebody pushed the NIBP button and repeated the blood pressure. And we'll see here that the blood pressure has now started to sink quite low. So they've got what they think is a third degree heart block, which has been confirmed. The patient's still got relatively low saturations and now has got a compromised blood pressure. Watching the patient themselves, they, they decided they would push the 12 lead again. Um, just to confirm what they've seen before, and they printed off another one. Um, and then they had a discussion about treatment options, and they opted quite quickly to go to the pacer. Um, Defib pads were there and available, and so pacing was chosen. Um, they chose a, a rate that they wanted to work at, and then you see them clicking up through the energy here until they get electrical capture. Um, and each of the beats is followed quite nicely. You can see their electrical capture taking place. And then they confirm that by checking the patient's pulse and they found that they had mechanical capture as well. So the pulse matched what they could see on the ECG. Um, and uh, life was starting to get better. The patient was starting to improve. The next logical thing for them was to again, go back and repeat that blood pressure so you'll see them doing that on the screen. And they're starting now to talk to the patient who's beginning to wake up again. All of this was captured uh, by doing a screen record on my iSimulate reality unit. Um, and again, allows me to go back and review this with the team uh, up on a bigger screen as we did today. I hope it's a little bit helpful.